everyone, it's Beth from Sweet Tarts Hair and I'm here today with my little Bailey. Now, what have you got on your hands, Bailey? Pink hair. Pink hair. So, we're going to have a play. I got sent this pink hair by Unicorn Official and I love it. So, I thought we could put it in Bailey's hair. We're going to do like a flower girl style. We're going to do hair. Rosie's made of hair. Yeah? And then we're going to put some flowers in and you're going to look adorable. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, I'm going to start the style, guys, by doing a little bit of a curl in Bailey's hair. Um, you can use straightening irons, you can use a wand, whatever you find easiest. You haven't got to do it to do this style, but it definitely makes it easier. So as you can see, we've just put a little curl in Boo's hair, and now we're ready to put our pink hair in Boo, yes! So as this hair is not synthetic, there's absolutely no problem at all putting a curl to it, so I'm just going to do that so it marries up with Bailey's hair that we've just curled. Okay guys, so I'm just going to grab some random strands down like that, okay. I want the first flower to sit about here, so I'm just going to lift up a section of Bailey's hair like that and clip it out of the way. And then just going to put a little bit of back comb into Bailey's hair, like that. And that is where our first extension is going to sit, so I've just popped those open hook them in and close them like that, release this hair down, so I've grabbed this section of hair guys, working it over with my fingers and I want the first flower to sit here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide this hair into three, trying to make sure that all three sections have got a little bit of pink in them, okay? I'm then just going to do an ordinary three strand braid, like that, and then after about two or three stitches, I'm going to stop and tease out the pink in the braid like that, just to try and bring out as much of the pink as I can. So I'm left with that, okay guys, and what I'm going to do is just clip this out of the way for now. Now my next sort of flower is going to sit here, so I'm just going to pick up this slice of hair, pin it out of the way, bit more back comb there, and that's where our extension, the pink extension, is just going to sit along there. Pop that clip in. Can you see I'm angling it this way because the whole style is going to kind of sit towards Bailey's left shoulder. So I've sort of angled the extensions in the same way that I'm going to be braiding. So release that hair down and then I'm going to do another three strand braid. Again, I'm just trying to tease out the pink bits in the hair to really accent that colour coming through. So I can see that little tiny stripe there. So I get my finger and thumb and just pinch that, all that pink just starts to come out of that braid. Can you see there? And then I'm just going to pin that one out the way, guys. Now I'm going to move on to this section of hair. So I want one to sort of sit here and one to sit right on the nape of the neck. So 
So I'm going to pin these three braids up now guys. We're nearly there. And then my last one, that tickle your neck then Bill. The last one I'm just yeah. going to place just here. I'm going to release my pink braids down so it looks a bit crazy at the minute and now we're going to start pinning these braids into little flowers okay okay guys so I'm going to start twisting this bit of hair up now these are our petals so we don't want to twist inwards we want to twist away okay so I'm just going to start just turning that hair like that so it creates Kind of like a flower. I'm just going to leave that little tail out and I'm just going to sit that first one just there. I'm then going to take a hair grip, okay, I'm going to keep it closed. I'm going to lift it up and just kind of weave that hair through, making sure that you can't see it on the top. I'm then going to take the next one, I'm going to place it about here guys. So again, I'm just going to be Bending that hair in, away. I'm going to leave these little wispy bits out. I'm going to leave that little curl out there. And I'm just going to place that about here. Getting another hair grip. And again, just weaving that through, catching all that hair. Like so. Then I'm going to take the next one. And again, just twist it up and just see where it looks good where sort of placing it is going to really sort of enhance your updo it might be quite low it might be a bit higher up and then this last one guys Then I'm just taking this section of hair from the side here, kind of sweeping it and I'm just going to pin it because I want some of it to look just like a loose little curl has fallen out. I'm just going to take this sort of front section here and just give it a little bit of a twist. And then I'm just going to kind of place it just there and pin it, okay? So just pin just by that left ear. Now me and Bailey have decided that we want to put a few little flowers into the style. So I think it'll kind of go nice with a little blue outfit. So obviously if this was for a wedding guys, you just have to take your little hairpins and just use them. If I can just grab a hairpin Ebony. So I would use these very, very small ones if I was doing wedding hair, just to secure the flowers in. So you just hold onto the flower and just push the grip into that flower stem and then that'll just keep that in. So that is mine and Bailey's flower girl style finished. We're quite excited about this one, aren't we, Bill? We like it. It's pink. It's got flowers in. What's not to like? Uh, I'm going to do you a little spin now, so hold on tight, Bill. Are we ready? I don't like it when it wobbles. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, um, I think Bailey's done really well, sat really really good for me and uh, we hope you love the style, if you do please comment if you like it, I don't think they should comment if they don't, what do you think though? Yeah. You can if you want to and we'll see you next week for another video, okay bye!